हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक दिस इज डॉक्टर हदी एंड यू आर वाचिंग मेडिकल ग्लोब टुडेज टॉपिक इज फ्रॉम द चैप्टर रेगुलेशन ऑफ जीन एक्सप्रेशन एंड दिस वुड बी द सेकंड टॉपिक लेट्स स्टार्ट द सेकंड टॉपिक ऑफ जीन एक्सप्रेशन दैट इज वन सिस्ट्रोन वन सब यूनिट बिफोर द दैट कांसेप्ट वन सिस्ट्रोन वन सब यूनिट we had an old concept that is one gene one enzyme concept and maybe some of my students they are familiar with this topic but other students may not be familiar so i would like to repeat this topic just a small touch would be given to it this one gene one enzyme means that if this is the the dna if this is the dna and there are many uh, genes on that in a gene 1 gene 2 gene 3 gene 4 okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 when any one of the specific gene let this is one specific gene this is one specific gene when this one specific gene is copied not transferred is copied and whenever it is copied it will be copied in the form of messenger rna and with the help of this messenger rna i would not go into the depth of this topic again i expect that you have got this topic already with the help of this messenger rna we get a a protein means a polymer of amino acids each circle represent amino acid so this protein this protein is later on the part of n enzyme the part of n enzyme so let's suppose i just write this diagram that this is the diagram of an enzyme enzyme e and how this enzyme was formed because enzyme is made of protein and the the information for the protein came from the messenger rna and messenger rna got this uh, this information from the dna so every enzyme thousands of enzymes that in that are present in your body these enzymes uh, informations are present in the dna okay in the dna so what is the name of that topic that one specific gene produces one specific enzyme and that was old concept that is this this is fine okay fine now we we will start another concept now there, there is one question in that topic there is one issue in that topic the issue in that topic is that how is it possible that one enzyme uh, one enzyme codes for one uh, gene or one gene codes for one enzyme sorry later on the scientist came to know that in enzyme sometime there are enzyme let's suppose this is one enzyme in that enzyme that is this is a single enzyme this enzyme may contain two three subunits let's suppose this is one subunit and this is second this is uh, third and this is fourth subunit there are four subunits so it is not possible that one gene can code for the whole enzyme means one gene can code for the whole these three uh, these four parts of the enzyme each part is called a subunit so later on we rejected this idea of one gene one enzyme so we replaced that concept of one gene one enzyme with one cystrone one subunit with one cystrone one one now what is this the again i would like to write a dna molecule and at this this dna we have uh, again small segments now this small segment maybe this is one complete gene but there will be a small segment like i would write i would like to write here this is a small segment of the dna once again this is your dna and on that dna there is a small segment this small segment is responsible for coding of the one sub unit of an enzyme there may be another segments on the dna which would code for the next segment next sub unit of the enzyme so now this topic 
is called as one cistron because this small fragment this small fragment which is coding which is coding not for the whole enzyme but this small part is coding for just one subunit of the enzyme this is called one cistron one subunit or uh, it has just replaced that one gene one expression and now we got so many uh, we got more scientific data more scientific information that now we came to know that on the on the dna there is not a single gene but there are so many genes so many genes that are coordinately cooperatively work together to uh, to functionalize to, to start a process just like a chemical reaction or a photosynthesis or a, some sort of metabolism and and that would be the the concept of lac operon which I will discuss in third lecture sorry in my previous lecture I was discussing it that I will uh, deliver that lecture in second lecture but this is the second lecture and inshallah in third lecture you will get the concept of lac operon and this was the concept of one cistron, one subunit. Once again, I would like to repeat this: that in one cistron, one subunit, there is not a, there is not one gene that is coding for one complete enzyme. Instead, on the DNA, there will be a small segment. That small segment will code for only one subunit of enzyme so this small part of the dna is called a cistron the small part of the dna is called cistron a cistron is, looks like a gene but the problem is that it does not code for the whole enzyme it just code for one part of the enzyme and this concept has replaced one gene one enzyme hypothesis so thank you very much see you in the next video bye bye